What's up, everybody? Hello. Don't talk nation. Okay, we're going to try to get ourselves together here, Get make sure we're streaming on the proper platforms. So we'll be doing that while uh, y'all come on in and join us. Okay, I see it here. Bam. I ain't in Facebook jail this week, so... I'm checking the slide over looking at my belly. What do you say? <laughs> <laughs> Trying to preserve your sexy on the screen. Hey, as long as oh I can see my gosh. Mm -mm. <sighs> what kind of tea you drinking, man? Stony tea, man. What's stony tea? Stony tea is a herbally enhanced. What about what are you showing me? You know what? Don't read it. Just look at it. Oh wow! <laughs> Two point That's how they do it. Keisha sister. Well, talk to the people while you're talking to each other. I'm trying you know, to get. Yeah, I mean, you you up here copy keys and shit. And I we, told we you I'm trying to share the shit like so two, you can be talking. Uh, two, like two, One, two, three. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So it's still okay. No, it's well, this part say that, but oh Jesus, my Lord Jesus, help us, Lord Jesus. All right, we're waiting for y'all to come in. I ain't saying shit till y'all come in. I need to make sure the people is in the house. There we go. There we go. We is I'm nice. just wondering what's going on. Okay, boom. So we are live and direct. Thanks for joining us. So um, first thing I want to say is um, I want to shout out to L. Absalom, that's Freedom's boo, and today is his birthday. All right. Um, what's the link for Freedom? I'm gonna tag her, make sure she remember. But um, I'm trying. To, I still ain't seen it on Facebook yet. Here it is, right here. It's on Facebook. We on there. So we got a hot topic coming on today, y'all. We got. Is it hot? It's hot. Is it smoking? It's smoking. Are you sure? Don't, don't, sir. El Fuego. Don't question me. There you go. See, it's hot and live. Hot off the press. Hot off the presses. Oh, and like we that on... ass you sitting on. Yeah. Oh. Damn, you say yeah. <laughs> you say yeah. Uh uh. I had to get up my ass. It's so hot in the winter time. It's cuffing season. That's what we need to talk about. Some cuffing. There's some cuffing going on. <laughs> need to lock down some bitches because winter time whoa, is coming. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What kind right. of show are y'all running here? <laughs> right. The bitches. It's wow. talk. The bitches. The bitches. Oh my god, I've been in a respectful way. Oh, 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 oh. okay. My All right. You want a respectful I bitch. guess. Right. Is that what you want? You want a respectful bitch in your life? Well, Jerry Cuffin said she don't have to be that respectful. I just. Who just said that? They cuffed. Just got to. Yeah, I just need a place warm to lay. It's, it's, it's that time of year. It's the coldest. It's the most coldest time of the year. So, is anybody um have any current events or anything they want to promote before we get started? Yes. What? Go ahead. Go ahead. Yes. Uh, starting next week, I'll be working with. I, I already work with In the Violence Columbus. Uh, by the name of Sean Stevens. Uh, in conjunction. Oh, I know him. He knows my son. Okay. In conjunction with the mayor's office, um, we're gonna be going out into the night. We're gonna be going out into the night on each side of town. And uh, if you see us out there, we're going to have our uh, reflection vest on. And we're going to be pulling up on the corners. <laughs> on the corners? We're going to pull it up on the Young Brothers. Hey, pull your pants up. What you doing out here? What you doing out here? You supposed to be in school? Okay. At okay. nighttime? Yeah, we're doing it at night. Yeah, so why is you going to ask them if they're going to be at night? 24 school? hour school? They go to 24 hour no, school no, and shit? No, no, no. You're supposed to be at, at home if you go oh, to school. Oh, okay, okay. Oh. 
Okay. So you're going to be canvassing the community yes, I, to that, make sure it's, that... It's, it's to promote in the violence, but also to show our presence. If y'all see us out there, we'll be a reflective vessel. We'll be on the north side, most likely in the Linden area. I'm not sure. We'll be on the west side. We'll be on the uh, uh, north side, south side, and then the east side. And uh, It's going to be about 20 of us, a lot of ex-felons who are um, taking their um, positive energy. Mm-hmm. Coming home. Talk to the people. Tell them about the camera's right there. You yeah, talking you know, that you know, way. I mean, yeah, Look yeah. at the camera. Yeah. There you go. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I'm just trying to impress somebody. <laughs> tell them how I'm going to do it out there. I'll do it with the people. <laughs> we're going to be in Columbus, Ohio. We're going to be fighting to end the violence. No, seriously, we're going to be ending the violence. Like I said, Sean Stevens, in conjunction with Mary Gither, uh, in the violence program. We, we have to, we have to, <laughs> we have to address this. And so, we taking it out of the talking about it stage, and we gonna actually make our presence felt in the community. Be about it, yes. Right. We'll be about right. it, yes. So if y'all see us out there in the room, like Jeremy, don't beep at us. Jump out and walk with us. No, that's okay. No, yeah, yeah. Be jump out and walk with us, um, with the brothers. You know, help them out. Let's. We're gonna start to start policing our own communities, right. and we're gonna have to start holding people accountable. Mm-hmm. For their shit. And I think a lot of our young folks done got this whole snitching shit confused and they done renamed or redefined the word or the term snitching. You know, when I was coming up, snitching was like me and you was doing some shit and I got caught in the midst of us doing some shit. I don't tell on you. But motherfucker, if you rob my me or my house or my neighbor, that's not snitching, motherfucker. That's a whole different thing. I'm telling you because you, you know you stole from, from me, my Nick. community. You did. You had a transgression against game. me. Snitching is for people who was in the game, right? And and living that life, that street code life. If I ain't in the game doing that dirt, that shit don't apply to civilians. Okay, civilians. If somebody break in your house, you got the right to tell on them. If somebody kills somebody. You got the right to tell on them. You're not in that lifestyle or where y'all are doing it crimes together. You are just living that civilian life. Now, if you were a gangster life, and then you don't snitch. You understand? So now all of a sudden it just applies to everything. And everybody. If somebody beats you up and then you yeah, call don't it, don't snitch. You don't, don't tell snitch. Me. Man, look, you come up in my house. Well, I ain't I don't call the police. But you know, if you need to do that. That's what you do. Because I keep mine with one in the chamber. God damn. Uh, you ain't got to, I mean, good job, <laughs> mighty. Is That's your one. First, we start off with bitches, and then now you're shooting motherfuckers. It's What's called blunt talk. I think she's allowed to say that. <laughs> right. Now, the bitch thing, that's something kind of different. I don't think I want to be a part of that. <laughs> <laughs> just saying. So, okay. Any other? Um, so, yeah, just remember, they'll be out. On different sides of town, they're starting in the Linden area. When when are you going to be out? We're going to be out uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So okay. Four days, four sides of town. Uh, everybody from all different walks of life, so ex gang members, ex felons, uh, mothers, uh, mothers who have lost their children to violence, so fathers who have lost their children to violence, people who have been victims of violence. So we're all going out here to make our presence felt in the community because. Uh, like I said, we uh, we done talk about it. Right, Tisha said that shit don't apply to everything. It sure don't, Tisha. It sure don't. So if you're in the Columbus <laughs> area and you want to participate, who would they contact? They could contact. Um, they could contact me, uh, comedian Kenny Jackson on uh, Facebook. Go to comedian Kenny Jackson, Jackson on yep. Facebook. Shoot him an inbox. Yep, shoot me, shoot me and, an inbox. And um, he will definitely get back with you. Okay, bam. Now, anything else um, anybody want to talk about, promote, before we get started on our topic? Um, again, hello. Thanks again for the invite, Blunt Talk. I'm Stoney Reed. I have created um, natural pain relief made with um, THC and essential oils. Um, I have it in a soap bar form, a pain rub form. And a massage oil form. And she also makes a tea. Yes. And my newest product is Stony Tea, an infused tea bag. So then the tea bag going to get you right. You fuck around, get tea bag. No, I'm just kidding. Oh. You're going to get your tea bag. Oh. (laughs) 
It's going to relax you, mm-hmm. you know, get you ready <laughs> You for never whatever. know what she's Girl, going to say. You don't know girl. what's going to go oh, down. No. Oh, you know what I'm saying? So, um, <laughs> you know, Yo, if you want to get in contact with her, I used the cream on my knee, and it did work. I, could, I was able, it didn't take away all the pain because my knee is really in bad shape, but... I was able to get around here and move around better than I usually can. Okay. Well, I'm right. glad you were able to yes. be you, relieved of some sort. Uh, did, you, did you apply it topically, like just rub it on top, or did you do a deep tissue massage towards your knee? I didn't do the deep tissue. Okay. I did, but um, I just rubbed it on the front and in the back, because okay, in yeah. the back is where I had my uh, tears and stuff. But um, So I... You know, the pain's in the front now, but I rubbed everything on my knee, y'all, and I used it, and um, and I was able to get around here a lot easier than I usually do. So All I right. definitely recommend her products. All right. um, one of my stepsons is supposed to come by. He's like, Mom, save the tea for me. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, okay. So I'm waiting for him to come and get the tea that he can give you his review. And topicals do not show up for a urine test or right. any drug test. Right. So you can still, you know, pass a drug test at work because you're not ingesting it when you're putting it, the topicals on. And there's an oil for even intimate situations, intimate massages, and things like that. What go. you looking at like that, there hot you, you, you want to got my attention talking about intimate massages. Who's gonna give you an intimate massage? (laughs) You ain't getting no. (laughs) You got intimate oils that are THC infused. Mm -hmm. So you know, make sure you check the system out. You want to love yourself. See, I got my rotator cuff. I rubbed some more before I came. Right. Good evening. Slow up. How you doing? Slow up. Slow up. Slow down. Okay, so anything else before we get started on the topic? Because we done got here a little hey, late. Hey, man, where do I get them daily toaster shirts? Oh, you go to merch.gnj.media. We will be having um it so that you can go straight to get it. We're going to have a DT, uh, dt.gnj.media. But right now, you go to merch.gnj.media. And those that want to support GNJ, you know what I'm saying? Those that want to go support GNJ, go to gnjmedia.support. That's once again gnj.media. No, gnjmedia.support. My fault. Okay, get it together, shit. Okay, so anyway, now let's get to it. Oh, they just cussing at me now. You get a hold of it. The topic is yes, I am. No problem. are men holding up to their part of the bargain? And we are started on this late on the show last week. And our men. Not only are they holding up to their part of the bargain, but we, this is where we were last week. You know, a lot of times we are hearing now and there about these traditional relationships and and modern women. So with a traditional relationship, are men holding up to their part of the bargain? And if they are not, does that still give them the right to, what's the term I should say, hot Tim? Uh, does that give them the right to claim that they are, in a sense, the husband in the relationship, that the lead and the head the lead and of the, the head. Ra- of the relationship? And I think that's that's a major issue for for many of us because now for me it's an issue because what we have is we have brothers who are handling the business supposedly that are caping for brothers who ain't doing shit. You know what I'm saying? They so want to be So what do you mean heads. like a brother that's... Give me an example. Oh, I'll give you an example. For example, it's real personal for me because coming up, I would have individuals come into my home that was dating my mama that wasn't doing shit that wanted to act like the motherfucking man in the house. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And I fought a couple of grown-ass niggas mm. who mm-hmm. claimed to be men, but they wasn't doing shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that's mm-hmm. very troublesome to me. And so when we sit around here and be like, the man is the head... You know what I'm saying? What about young people who are experiencing men who are not the head? That are experiencing male wives. Because some of you motherfuckers are male wives. And there's nothing wrong with it. But y'all want to be, y'all want to be declared the husband and the man when you ain't doing what it requires to be the man. If she's going out, if she's hunting it, and if she's cooking it and she's doing all that shit, then she should be ruling as well. And I, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? So that's me. Okay, so 
does he have the right to uh, call the shots then? Yeah. Call what shots? Who? Is it just, just because he's a man? All right, cool. Now, let me ask you know. Okay, slow up. You said they should. They should what? That came, um, okay, maybe you maybe you agree. So, Expound, brother, slow up. So, right. <laughs> so my thing is this. Um, Just because you're a man don't make you a leader. There we go. So does that automatically make you a leader <clears throat> even though <clears throat> you are in the house? Should a woman, what is it, automatically just concede to you to make all the decisions and if you are not being I know plenty of men that are not leaders. I'm quite sure a lot of us know men that are not leaders. I wouldn't. Mm -hmm. I so wouldn't said I agree. Some men I wouldn't follow out of a out of a burning goddamn house because the motherfucker's probably going the wrong way. I'm just <laughs> letting y'all know. Mm -hmm. And we need to be honest about that shit. Right? You know what I'm saying? We got a bunch of men running around here listening to Kevin Samuels, who I do agree is giving good advice, but they are taking advice and they're only using one part of it. They're not investing in becoming this type of man that Kevin Samuels is talking about or whoever is out there is talking about. You know what I'm saying? We got a bunch of, we got a bunch of, we got a bunch of uh, male wives running around this motherfucker wanting to, um, what's your dress size? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's you your weight what dress right, size? Nigga, right, what's your pocket size? Right. Where you work? You know what I'm saying? Um, what if we started just coming at dudes like that out the gate? What, what's well, the, some women do come at them out the gate. Some like of them that, do. You know what I'm saying? And, right, well, and, but, what's your pocket size? No, but yeah, the majority of us do not. I have yet to see, I, even I, on those platforms, that they women are going on those platforms. By no saying, means am I in support of this woman fuckery. I'm just letting y'all know. But I do, I do, I do feel that as a man, I have to be able to hold other men accountable. Right. Absolutely. That's all I'm saying. You understand what I'm saying? Because I do believe that in a home, a man should be a leader. But there is there, there's a cost to be the boss. I think I think it was said by a great philosopher by the name of James Brown. Pay the cost to be the boss. Pay the cost to be the boss. I paid the cost to be the boss. A lot of you niggas ain't paying shit. Mm -hmm. You're getting free lunches in the house with the kids. You might as well be at school with them niggas getting free lunches. Okay, you're drinking up their juicy juice. Right. Right, you know, taking a Kool-Aid. Eating all the good chips, just leaving the sun chips. Oh, my God, leaving like the sunshine. crumbs. <laughs> I like sun chips. I know the kids, though. Oh, okay. Right. My grandson. Do Even the wheat things and the shit the kids. Tomato, basil, right. and sun chips. <laughs> <laughs> kids mad at them, Just dig so Stay back together. All the Cheetos gone. So why is it that? Because I'm going yeah, to like We need to have this talk because we always hear the talks about you know, the women's side and where they're not the modern woman. So what do we ever talk about the modern man? What's the modern oh, man? My, see now, but this, now this is where I have to disagree with you because women talk about this shit all the time. They have plenty of spaces on the internet where they are doing that. As a matter of well, fact, they I'm are listening. very insulting. We are now hearing about Kevin Samuels because he blew up beyond all of them. But women have always had their spaces where they have been able to talk about men and for a long time, I believe they have been dogging men and taking advantage of some of the good men that's out here that's trying to be men. And because they're trying to be good, they're trying to be honest, they're trying to be home, end up getting treated like shit. Mm. So, you know what I'm saying? So now, I, I just don't want, I just ain't caping for other men who ain't leaders to be, because uh, I don't need no false leaders in, in, in my tribe or anywhere around my tribe because them motherfuckers is dangerous. Mm. But see, you have a lot of men, and, and, and I need the men to hear what you're saying, because you do have a lot of men that feel like just because they are of a ding a -ling, they male, that that gives me all the right to come into your household and run some shit. So, Kenny's silent. What do you think about that? Does that... I, I, you know why? Because I've actually been on both ends of the spectrum. Okay. I've been the non-contributor. You've been the non-contributor. And I've been the, the, the weightlifter. Okay. So let's let's hit the non when you was the non-contributor. Did I, she still she, I'm sure she did she how, was you still running shit in the house? Yeah, because of his penis. You gotta speak up. Go um 
Shame on you, you dirty dog. Say it loud. Yeah, because I was a manipulator. So you got to understand something. You, this is just not, you're just not going to be able to ABC this conversation. Yes, okay. You got to you got to expound in, in, a, in a circumstance. All right. This yeah. sounds like one of those niggas that was that, that, that male wife that I'm talking about. Go ahead, nigga. <laughs> so what I'm saying is, so you no, no, no. it and move it and rub it. I, I don't use the word. Beat it down. No, well, no, but there's there's more to things to contribute than just money to the household. <laughs> Why you laughing? Because I'm laughing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Well, well, okay. Uh, what a paper. You know, you brought the paper home. What? Wait, 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 wait. Are you, are you, wait, before we even go any further, are you saying that unless you bring in hard cash dinero into the house, you shouldn't, you should shut no, up? See, no, because I'm, I'm definitely against the financial man, but I'm against men screaming this traditional shit, but and not carrying their weight in a traditional okay. fashion. We don't think that traditional No, 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 but, but this is what men, this, this is, this is what men are screaming for right now, bro. Who, what men are screaming Oh my God, you are, you, you got all over. Maybe they keep talking about the traditional woman, right. the traditional woman, and the modern woman. Now well, they don't want. Some homework they don't. Want. Yeah, give me some homework. Yeah. I don't think that. I don't think that exists anymore. I don't think. I don't think situations, circumstances, finances allows that to be. Uh, now, I, and now okay. with you, I'm, I can get with that. But what we got now is we got niggas that's watching YouTube because the hype right now is the uh, modern woman, the modern man, the modern relationship. Going back to a traditional format. This is what a lot of men, especially some of them that listen to us, they want to go back to. The man is the head of the household, but there, but you had there's a cost to be the boss. Okay, that's wrong. In traditional relationships, that's wrong. That's wrong. What's wrong? Is the cost to be the boss? No, the woman is the head of the household. Uh, hold on. Hold on, Darkie. Now I want you to go on and every time on that, <laughs> everything run through her, dog. If she ain't happy, then the house ain't happy. I don't give a fuck what you talking about. I don't give a fuck what you talking about. The woman run the house. Okay. He might he might set some rules and raise his voice, but he gonna sit his ass down. If she if she if she if she if she, if she, if she running her program like she's supposed to, mm -hmm. right? He, if, if, he, she, if, if she if she running it like she's supposed to, he thinks he's running. That's right. Okay then. He that's thinks right. he's running. Exactly. Now, hold on now. She will let now, him think that he runs shit around. Exactly. <laughs> Latisha said, "Why can't women be the head of the household? We're smarter." It, well, it, well, that determ well, that's to be determined. No, I'm just saying that's to be determined because some of y'all be getting dig down and letting a no good, no good nobody tell you what the fuck to do. Okay, so if you talk about that specific part of it, mm -hmm. then then let's address that specific part of it because, like I said, there's different. No, 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 no. What if brother going to school? What? If what a brother going to school? What? So his financial contribution might not be. Uh, what if he going to school? Yeah. What if he in school? Is he twelve years old? No, he he in college, brother. He in he in college. He how old is he in college? Yeah, well, he, he forty. He in college. He forty. He's in college. He's working on his master. He's working on his master. All right. So at what's forty, wrong, what's wrong with brother? What? What's wrong with brother? Brother going to school. Yeah. He's gonna get his education. What's wrong with brother? Yeah. What's wrong with brother? He can't. He don't qualify for uh financial aid, and and he don't deserve uh, financial aid in the home. Well, that's why it ain't no money coming out of his pocket. He just just might to further and better himself. Come on, man. Come on, man. Well, I mean, if he's not, so it's he, and he's serious, y'all. He's serious. <laughs> because it ain't always this, it ain't always cut and dry the way y'all want to make nah, it. No, no, no. But you I, I agree, about... Gretel. Gretel said relationships really should not be that complicated if you like each other. Then you gotta understand what she mean by like each other. But yeah. go ahead. No, I'm just saying no. What do you mean? What does she mean by that, uh, yeah. sister Navita? That you like each other enough to respect one another mm -hmm. to where you don't disrespect one another. Oh, there's a question on the wall. Okay, we can read it. We all we all can read yeah, it. Yeah, put it right here. Relationships really should not be that complicated if you like each other. I don't know. I agree. Like, like yeah, they, they it, relationships are real nice to life it. Shit. You know, and it's uncomplicated to life it. I think I'm trying to assign all these all these all these gender roles is just what's fucking it up though. We, we, what are we trying to live? A Western a Western uh No, we're not trying to No, no, no. What I'm life? saying no, what I'm saying is speaking to individuals that may want that Western frame or Western style of life. That's who right? speaking to. You right. see what I'm saying? Because it's like this. If you want that traditional Western relationship, that the way it goes. Did you grow up like that? Oh, no. 
no. But I did grow I did go wait, wait, hold on. I did grow up running into and fighting grown motherfuckers that wanted to be that way, but they didn't have they didn't they didn't pay the cost to be the boss. What examples what examples were were you given for that? Mm -hmm. Oh, Grandma for, Oh, yeah. Me, my people. Me, my people. Me, my people. Right? I always would go to Me, house. So that was a example. People rent it. That was, he rent it. Yeah, supposedly. She let him think that. Supposedly. That's the first time you saw that. No. In I never saw I never saw people run it. I just like to think that. Right. Right. Okay. So you know that. Right, but you know what I'm saying? I never talked to them. I never talked to him about Brenda that. Brenda says she don't want a boss. Well, I... Um, you ain't the boss of me. Is that what you say, Grandma? <laughs> um, some sometimes it depends. I can't. I don't know how to say it, but sometimes the bossy can be sexy. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I like the motherfucker who can take this. charge of some shit. But you know, no. I don't want nobody that be necessarily controlling. Yeah. But I do like a motherfucker who can um. Tell you what to do. You like being told. Manage say, some shit. You like you like a man. You you want a captain of industry. Somebody that can lay the pipe down and <laughs> such a graphic. This a, it, hey, hey, that's why I love coming to Blood Talk. You you never, home, never hear anything come from somebody's mouth. Right. I like saying. somebody that's gonna take the lead and be like, you know, because you know, don't nobody ever want to a woman don't want to be with a man. <laughs> That she thinks she can look at him and be like, shut the fuck up, motherfucker. Yeah, right. that's not sexy at that's all. Not at all. That's not hot. Right, you know what I'm saying? That's I, not that, hot. <laughs> that, that turned me off right there. Who, and for a woman to be able to and think woman that she don't can say some shit like that. Right. She can, you, I crazy. know. I could not say that to my man at all. If you did, he wouldn't be your man no more. No. No, he would not. Don't nobody want no soft fat. I remember one time, and you know, we young and we grow. We young and we grow. But I had a soft dude when I was in college, and he was just soft as motherfucking feathers. You just like him. And I was man. curling my hair one day, and I just looked at him like, this soft motherfucker. I wonder what he'll do if I burn him with this curling iron. You so I took the curling me. iron, and I said, Tsss. And he was like, ow! Why you do that? And that was it. And I was like, this relationship is over. Okay, tell me. Wait, see, see. Now, that, now, now hold on. So now we get, only in, like we get into a whole psychosis. I That's a whole like psychosis 20. right there. What made that you test that, that right man there. like that? Now, if that nigga would have broke what your soul. What in the world made you test that man oh, like you that? Come on, Stoney. 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 What? Don't act, because this is this is black. Well, this pure 100% black woman in America. You done did that shit to some type of nigga in some form of fact. You done Not, poked him with something. You might have pissed the nigga. You I've might been, have just pushed I, him I, and I she would have tested it. Tested it. Tested it. Tested you done tested maybe, the water. Maybe a test with my mouth, not a test with like nothing okay, now physical stop, in now that stop. matter. Let me, let me say this to you. Let's just back up a little bit. Pump the brakes. Brakes is out. What? What? I never knew that you took medication. <laughs> you know, I was twenty I, years old. I, I understand. No, 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 no. We we was all twenty at one time. There's one. There's I ain't a, never been burned. There's a line. I wasn't even twenty. Actually, that man was still college. got a burn mark on his leg <laughs> to this day. It was his arm, you know? but was you burnt his arm? How you know? When she burned a <laughs> uh, curling arm, burn leave a mark forever, bro. Unless you use like some cocoa butter, some shea butter. She don't seem like we the was like eighteen because it was my freshman year of college. Oh, now, oh, keep going down now. Because I had my son at 20 and he wasn't around. So I was 12. It was, I was well, 18 I years old. And I did do that. But the point being but that... But you was the one messing with him. I was. And I know, I just wanted to see how far I could take it. And, and let me tell you, when I did that and he just... The only thing he said, he ain't said, like, what the fuck wrong with you, bitch? Or what the fuck? You know, he ain't... What the fuck? You, better, you know, none of that. He was just like, ow, why you do that? And I knew then the relationship was over. That's what he did. That's what I knew. I was like, he'll just take any motherfucker thing. I need a motherfucker oh, who ain't gullible. I need a motherfucker who stand up for himself. I don't want nobody I can run over. Women, I don't think we. You know what you that. needed? You needed a lion tamer. You, you, was a, you was a wild beast. You need a, you need a motherfucker with a chair and a whip that says shit, bitch, shit. Shut the fuck you know what I'm saying? This, and see, no. that's, and that shit where it gets dangerous. That's shut dangerous. Because if he would have hauled off and slapped the shit out of you, we'd be here. I've been abused. I'm a abused victim. Let me tell you. 
No. You would have you would have cried bloody murder if the, pa- if the boy put, 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 put the paws upon you. you I would have. Oh! No. I know you didn't just. Oh, you got me. It would have turned into a whole oh, crime. No. He slapped me and never say anything about her burning him. He'd be trying to explain she burnt me, and nobody would listen to his shit. I wouldn't have done that. Oh my god! Because I used to you fight. You that in your a... mind state now. You was crazy. Obviously, no, I had I had a boyfriend that um that we used to fight and and everything and no, um and, and um it wasn't our thing. It's just that um I grew up around that, and so conflict resolution I always was taught. You know, it was through fighting. So. <laughs> She was trying right. to make a yeah, point. Yeah, I was trying right? to make a point, what? Gretel. Exactly. Oh. That, that the shit was... I ain't saying that it's right to do. I'm just saying that that's why we don't want nobody soft. Somebody said she need Trump. <laughs> yeah, oh, I need Trump, wow. Tisha. Wow. <laughs> I need Trump. The show is taking a bad turn. So, you know, I'm like, you know, um, shit, you know I done forgot what the fuck I was saying. You interrupted me. About a strong man taking control and getting burnt. No, no. That, she don't want a strong man. She want to abuse. No, that's that was what the, the younger self. In this, the in younger this, self want to abuse. In this body that she's in right now. She could. But now we have to be careful and we have to let the young people know that maybe listen to this. She's not advocating. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because you know, it'd be no, a bunch I'm of not. young people. Because we, let me tell you, that'll be the, 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 the new TikTok. The Burt Curling Arm Challenge. <laughs> right. You know, On TikTok. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How would your man handle this? What the? <laughs> The burnt curl. Yeah, we don't what? need no burnt curling no, arm challenge. Please, please put a qualifier. Is he a real man or not? Okay. <laughs> Y'all gonna get it all fucked up out here, man. Man. Y'all gonna have it all. Black Thank you. Calm down, fellas. Look, Gretel said, calm down, fellas. Greta wants to calm down because she used to burn niggas too. Y'all just, just y'all did, you know what I'm saying? I just want to pull a pistol on and see so if you're So listen, let me ask the sisters. Is there ever a guy you dated that you felt you couldn't be with him because he was, he was too, too, nice. too soft? No, nah, just say what it was. He was too nice. He was too one, You could be a nice person and not be a fucking pushover. He was He was too nice. He wanted to, he wanted to do for me in ways that I felt that I wasn't worthy. How are we going to make it with That's all this true. testing of each other? How are we going to make now, this it? Is You're something... supposed to do some type of test, brother. Listen, oh, Lord. like I said, I was um, 18 at the time. But, you know, you learn and you grow. <laughs> I ain't talking about no. you. I'm talking about in general. I'm talking about we like, we're trying to get together. We're trying to get here. Our race is like falling off because of just uh, 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 our generation. De- death. Our generation. Uh, it's our generation. Eh? Death is our generation. Okay. Well, we have been fucked up. Whatever the generation, let him finish. We not. We not. We not getting it right. We not loving right. Well, we 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 can't. We can't be focused on how not to love right. We gotta focus on how to love right. No true loving is done without sacrifice. Said the knowledge holders. There has to be some type of sacrifice. That's there what they make goats for, my brother. Goats. Cool. Then that means. But now, back in the day. A goat was a very expensive venture. That's you right. had to go out. So now there was a, some type of test that you have yeah. to get in order to get that goat. Let's stop sacrificing our own. Let's stop sacrificing oh, no, no, no. I, I, no, relationships with right. children and, 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 and relationships with children because of these because of these fucked up relationships. That's what I'm saying. Man. Well, I mean, there's, there's, a, there's a suffering going on in our people because we don't know how to communicate with each other. Well, no, we constantly we constantly sacrifice and we constantly suffer. Are we on a commercial? No. No, we are not. For a second. <laughs> so this phone says, nowadays, gentlemen right. don't get I'm respect, but thugs do in relationships. So I'm on my show, nigga. So this is the thing about that. Maybe, um, slow up, Please. I need to know how old you are, because once you get to a certain age, no woman I know, I'm 53, and um, I know at least when even in your 40s, that thug shit... Ain't nobody on it. You know what I'm saying? And let me just say this. That when you're in your 20s, I know plenty of men who wasn't thugs that was getting plenty of pussy and getting plenty of women. So it's like women are attracted to, especially at that age, we're learning about relationships and what we want and need in a man. And we're learning. And so we go through these um, phases, phases mm-hmm. of, of learning. But I, I, I've never heard the athlete complain about losing 
all the women to the thugs. I've never heard the really good looking dude complain about losing all the women to the thugs. Um, most people or They're men that I people. have, I'm just going to keep it 100, that I, the men mm -hmm. I have heard talk about losing women to the thugs are either socially awkward dudes, mm -hmm. the nerd, mm -hmm. or the ugly, super mm -hmm. ugly motherfucker mm -hmm. with no confidence. Because mm -hmm. I've seen very ugly people mm -hmm. who, who men who got so much confidence that they pulled the a baddest chick. And then mm -hmm. they ain't even got to have money or anything. So mm -hmm. I think it's all about your confidence mm -hmm. or how you what. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm listening to, I, I'm, I'm encouraging this, this, this flow of bullshit. No, because I'm going to tell you mouth. this. Because when you was on the show the one time and my stepson was on here and you was talking about how hard it was to get pussy, you had to put in all this work to get pussy. Mm -hmm. My stepson ain't never had to put in that kind of work and get no kind of pussy from no chick. And so... So I'm saying there are men out there that don't have a yeah. struggle. Now, hold on. Now, what percentage of, of men is that? Nigga, I don't know. You See, don't but no, well, I mean, because, I mean, you saying it like it's a goddamn fact, so you can have it, some numbers with this a, shit. You ain't got no numbers. Okay, this is the, nigga, listen, I'm telling you right no, now. You I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you right now. You can't talk over me. Uh, hold on. You hold, can't, sir. Hold on, hold on. Hold, hold See, this on. is what the problem is with these modern men. Oh, these modern men. See what these modern okay. men do? They're overly emotional. Sister uh, Gretel uh, says until women are put back in their rightful place, and we, I, that's what I was going to hear. It's going to be messed up. Yeah. Slob says, I'm a gentleman. Place? That's all. That's right. That's right. What? What is a woman's rightful place? Right. Well, yeah. On your face. Uh, I'm just saying. Uh, okay, I don't know. I'm not going to, I mean, I know, but I got a fan. <laughs> but you tell me. I'm going to let the audience and you guys decide because the woman's rightful place for me mm -hmm. is to be like, you know, barefoot cooking. To help me. Barefoot oh, me cooking and having babies. You know, I, I, I like more of. And I don't mind splitting the expenses because I know this is the day we live in. But I don't want to be the woman that got to come home and 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 put the tire on the car and take the trash out or none of that. I'm a, I want to be the one that, that nurtures. He don't want to be the one to do that neither. For the home, he don't do none of that shit. Mm -mm. I'm talking he, he about calls me somebody to do in it. my you relationship. Know you know what that's called? You know what y'all gonna quit that's talking called. over me? That does not do that's good. Leadership. Listen. I'm sorry. When we're talking at the same time and you play it back, people can't understand. I I don't care about the people not understand. I know you don't, I'm but I do. Saying. Okay, well, go on. Yeah, I'm... No, hold on. Oh, Nigga, yeah. go on. Wait, you can't even stand up. Stop. Stop. Stop it. See, you about to try to burn me with the goddamn mind. Turn around. You better shut the fuck up. That's what I know. This, this, see, gentlemen, this is the modern woman. This shit right here. This is the, this modern is the nigga woman. that just said she want to be helped. This is the modern me. woman right there, goddamn. Help it. this to help me. She want to help me. About to beat this goddamn foot. You better turn around. Shit, modern woman ass. Oh, here we go. You oh, still yeah. testing, huh? Wow. I see. Mm. It like says we are the shit. first parent to both a man or woman, but we are expected to listen and follow. That's European. That's from Gretel. Any thoughts we on that? We are the first parent. We, we, can help me out? I think women, she missed the word. We are the first parents, parents to both men and women. Oh, women is the first parent to both men mm -hmm, and women. Mm -hmm. But we are expected to listen and follow. That's European. Why is it European? Oh. So, what do you think? Is what do y'all what do y'all think about that? Mm. I've never been European, so I can't speak it. I don't know. European I, I'm ways. trying to figure out what's European about that. And then also, because women technically can't make a kid by themselves. And if they buy themselves, a lot of times it's kind of by choice because they kind of choose who they get pregnant. I don't know where she got the she mm -hmm. the first one to parent and we carry the seed and give it to y'all. Where she get she the first parent? Well, we that's both. European. That is European, yeah. What is? What them, I just said? No, them being the first parent. That's yeah. European. How you get the baby without me putting it in you? That's uh that's that magic. She said, I didn't say that. <laughs> okay, so okay. we need to qualify her statement then. All I know is I don't want nobody doing the curling iron challenge. But go ahead. Yeah, see? Well, <laughs> She's like, I'm yeah, thinking, I'm about, thinking that about that now. <laughs> but um because they they're just go ahead. But that. anyway, you know, I still think that we need to make sure that, you know, when we are getting in these relationships, especially single women and with children, 
And then like how Tim was talking about, you go out here and you meet a guy. And what we used to talk about, you need to try so they can do what? Hot Tim? I don't know. I'm I'm not listening right now. I you swear. told him to be quiet. Audible gasp. So you can't do two things at the time? You can't shut your mouth and open your can't, ears at the same time? Can't, did, did, so I heard Tim talks about how you have, that we have to have a tribe. That's true. And at least to the tribe can vet so that they can vet. Oh, we've tried that. Oh. Yeah, we've tried that. We've These tried that. men. No, no. It don't, it only works if everybody participates. That's right. Uh, yeah, everybody it, it, in the tribe everybody. ends up with each other. Well, no, no. Well, no, now, in a no. sense, now, that don't always have to happen. But... You know, that's like Navita with it's the with the iron thing. with the iron with the iron challenge. We was young. Okay, we was young. We, but no, it's a natural thing for you to be drawn to somebody that's speaking the same language you're speaking. Right. So in a sense, so that would be now that would be like that would be good. Now with us, but we didn't have how can I put it? We didn't have people that was older than us guiding the process. Uh, being near the you understand? Yeah. We was trying to build a tribe at what? 19, 19 23, 20 years old. You know what I'm saying? 21, yeah. You know what I'm saying? People look, I mean, I mean, god damn the woman was fine. But what the, the point that I'm trying to make, you know what I'm saying? You need when you're building a tribe, you can't have a tribe with all everybody being in the same age group. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? Especially the young best fucking time. So let's get back on the point. The point is that the tribe, the person that's being brought by the sister, has to come through the tribes, bring them around. Right. Bring around, let it seem. Since right. I'm just pop up talking about right. you guys. Right, because you got a man. Uh, right. Yeah. Who, who's standing there with you now? That's why it's important to have a tribe, y'all. That's why when we talk about that at Giamme, tribe, tribe, tribe up. You know what you I'm saying? Tribe because up. you get these men, and then you can bring them before the elders in your tribe, other men in your tribe. And let me tell you something. A lot of men who even may be on some fuckery, when they we'll know you alone. got some people, you got a, some uh, male that's going to back you up. And you better not be doing this, that, and the third. Like you said, they'll back. They'll back, they'll the back up. up. It's you know? just like a sister with a brother. Excuse me. It's like a sister uh, with a, a family full of brothers. Right. She she gets way less static. <laughs> Don't she? She get way less static. Right. She, she she usually raise, raise hell a little bit because she got them brothers back there. Right? So when it's the sister out here, they got a tribe behind her. Know yes. that you can't just be slapping her around. Right. That, know that you can't just be laid up in here with your PlayStation. Right now, nah, but now part of that issue is that the all everybody got to adhere, adhere to that process because right. a lot of times what we got we got women that get these dudes and then bring them to the tribe after they got them. You know, lay down with them. You know, you know, did all this shit with them. Now we supposed to protect you? No, uh, uh-uh. he, he ain't he ain't passed the certification, baby. You with him now? I'm like, oh hey, so why don't we just build her one and just give them to her? I mean, you could do that too. Just build her a brother. And just give them to her. Well, or, or you build a sister. That too. Or, oh yeah, or build a sister and give. You know what I'm saying? Or, or better yet, allow them to fight. Because it's ultimately because what happens is then we get into this piece where I, I don't like him. You know what I'm saying? And I think a lot of times, I think a lot of stuff that go wrong with our relationship is that we base a lot of that shit on like. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. On on like mm-hmm. rather than really doing some true tribe. And they should build them because at one point in time, you know what I'm saying, like it wasn't part of the process. Like, you know what I'm saying? We need some kids up in this motherfucker. You of age, you of age, get your ass over to make it work. Yeah, I don't think my grandparents liked each other at all. <laughs> yeah. they, they slept in separate bedrooms and everything. Damn, Damn. your grandparents too? Yeah. 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 My great grandmother, my great grandmother. Yep, separate bedrooms. I never seen them talk to each other. <laughs> I never seen them in the same room with each other. Uh, slow up said everyone has their own opinion on how a relationship will work. <laughs> no, but that I believe it starts with trust. I agree. It starts See, with trust. I think it believe, I think it starts with tribe. Cause because now let me say this. Once again, a lot of women end up relationships with motherfuckers that they trust that ends up getting fucked up. I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? And then be talking about ain't nobody protecting a black woman in the community. Well, who vetted the motherfucker that you with? Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? I can't stand when women come to me after the fact and want me to do some shit. I won't let my sons do shit. I won't let my brothers do shit because I had to put in calls and tell niggas, y'all ain't doing a goddamn thing because she chose. That's not our responsibility no more. So, I tell I have a question. Go ahead, baby. So, if I was looking for a tribe, where I start? Okay. All right. There you go. 
first you start with geometry. Now, you say, now, now, and this is what it is. Now, you look for individuals that are talking about something. Now, okay. you got you got like for example, you got tribes that are built around football teams. Okay. Them are not the motherfuckers that you need to be dealing with. Right. You know what I'm saying? Niggas that get together and drink and just talk about sports. You need individuals that are talking about life, that are talking about lessons and stuff like that, where you can actually learn something and grow. Right? Okay. Now, and then you got to have, and then the next step is they have to realize who and what they are. Right? Uh-huh. And, they, and then when you come around, there's a oh, family fear. Right? So, for example, this is where tests are coming. This is what I mean. Like, for example, you have an issue and you call and you need some help. Mm -hmm. You get help, but ain't nobody up at your door trying to sleep with you later on or trying to take advantage of the fact that you need their goddamn help. Mm -hmm. It's a real tribe. You understand what I'm saying? Right. It's real family. Nigga, I, I, I'm, I'm short here, or I need this done, or I need something done, and you could do something for them, and they could do stuff for you, and y'all start building something. Mm -hmm. Now in Giami, we got one or two. We got one or two things that you could do. You could join us, or we we will help you learn how to put a tribe, build a tribe yourself. Gotcha. You understand what I'm saying? Because it starts with family. I mean, because all the, all the tribe is is extended family. That's what it is. Gotcha. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I'm sorry. So you got no, you thank got you, got you, got you got a tribe. You got a tribe. I do. Got a As a healing yeah. <laughs> my healing tribe. tribe. She got a tribe. You said what you looking for? And, 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 and it's just like it's just like, it's just like the brother said uh, of like minded people. Absolutely. Who yeah. are sharing same journeys, same, same journey, experiences. Positive, positive energy, positive vibe. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. And you know, and, and it's very helpful. I'm telling you, y'all need to tribe up or join Giame Tribe. You know, we are located here in Columbus, Ohio, but um, I've had to call on my tribe. Like when I, um, I had surgery on my leg and I had uh, had to move. A house that was four floors, and um, my tribe stepped in, and all the fellas came, and they moved me. You know, I've had issues where I've run into things with men trying to take advantage of me in business, and they kind of like, you know, like screw you. I'm not giving you no money, your money back, and what you gonna do about it? So I've been able to call some of the fellas, I'll tell him in particular, like what's going on, and he'll call, and next thing you know, I get another call back. He about to send you the money back on the cash app. You know what I'm saying? So those are the benefits of mm. having a tribe if you especially if you are um, you know, I'm an only child, my son is an only child, and my grandparents who raised me, they're deceased and I so I don't have brothers and sisters and things like that. So it was really beneficial to link up with somebody like a Mr. Brown. Oh, the, so oh, here's, oh, the man she just called a, a woman. Okay, but let me hear, let me hear, let me ask y'all this though, because I hear, I, I heard, oh, I, ain't seen my I heard how the tribe is, is, is beneficial to the woman. How is the tribe beneficial to the man? Now, first off, we just had this conversation. Now, now this is all right, men. Let me tell y'all something. The tribe is beneficial to you because it allows us to, in a sense, let me say it, tribe up. Now, because it's kind of dangerous as a male or a female rolling out in this motherfucker by yourself any motherfucking way. You need okay. people to have your goddamn back. You understand what I'm saying? And then on top of that, if, if it's beneficial for the women, you got any women in your life? Right? Now, do you got some women that make some bad decisions? Wouldn't it be good to have a couple motherfuckers that you call to come and help you out with your girl or your woman get you in a fucked up situation? We always need back. We need to be able to support each other. You understand what I'm saying? That's how it benefits a man. You know what I'm saying? And then on top of that, men bring other women. Uh-oh. <laughs> Maybe you might find your wife. Women bring other women. And women bring oh, other women. Oh, definitely. Even more. Right. Can I turn this on? Turn it on, she sure. Don't smoke cigarettes. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Evie, look, see, see, y'all are trying. You looking out for it? That's dope. What you mean? We supposed to look out for each other. That's bro. right. Well, well, that don't happen like so, that. Um, that don't <laughs> right. So, so, y'all, ladies and gentlemen out there, y'all get you a tribe, and when you get your mate, 
you make sure before you or when you meet your potential mate, run it by your tribe. I mean, a lot of people they'll take their pastor, they 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 do to, right. to the pastor. And, and that church is supposed to be their tribe. That's what counseling is supposed to be when you you see people take these words counseling. Right. But counseling doesn't mean you have something wrong with you. Right. Counseling means that you are seeking the wisest counsel, advice. Right. You're seeking advice from, might be your elder, it might be a, 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 a peer. Right. It might be somebody that's more that's knowledgeable. That's looking out for your interests as I'll well. Tell you, I'll give you a perfect example. My, my last marriage, right? I asked my wife. Your last? My last. I've been married twice. Oh, okay. I asked my wife, I said, you need to find a circle of married women so that the advice that you get ain't from single, miserable bitches. Okay, speak up, because you were yeah, talking about I, I, asked, I asked her, I said, you need to find a circle of married women. We need to move in circles of married people, because when you get advice from your single, miserable friends, that'd be the wrong advice, because the circle that you in doesn't understand the advice that you need. Do you right. understand? They give you right. single. They give you single woman advice. And she's a married woman. She's That's right. Same woman. with men. And Same with men. And I and I sought counsel from married men. men. Right. I didn't seek seek no counsel from no single she man right. to tell me something about. But you ain't never even been married before. Sometimes I might be wrong. I doubt it. You. Just... <laughs> but it could happen. Yeah, it could happen. I remember yeah. like eighty six. I was wrong. Oh, okay. 86, 87, somewhere around here. I don't know. It was like senior year. Anyway. Uh, okay, then your senior year. 86, 87. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Columbus, Ohio, we like to, uh, in, in America, the United States, uh, world, the world, we'd like to thank y'all for having us out here. And I'd like to thank Blood Talk for inviting me and my manager slash business partner slash friend out again. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's beautiful. Okay, so well, we about to wrap it up here in a minute. What, so. we, about do, what we about to wrap up? The so, show. You got the green I thought I thought freedom was coming on today. She ain't, as you know her. She got another page, and because her other page is in Facebook jail, so I I couldn't get a hold of her. Oh. She started. I got to get a hold of her. I can't remember what her new page is. <laughs> <laughs> You know, so that's what I had to do because I stayed in Facebook jail on the other one, so I had to start a whole new page. So, um, because they was checking me on a regular for every little thing I said. So, um, with that note, do we want to leave out with some? Uh, well, one of the things takeaways. Takeaway is get you a tribe, and have him help you screen your screen your mate. You know, male and saying? female. That's why I said. You know, that's why I said mate, male and female. You need to have people screening your mate because a lot of times, and you know, so when you get into relationships and you see the red flags, you need to um, pay attention. Look, okay, <laughs> slow up. Slow up said life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you get out of it. Okay? That's not his. That's, I've heard that before. That's a... Uh, Forrest Gump. Gump. Yeah. 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 That's Forrest Gump. Life is a box of chocolates. Life is a box of chocolates. Okay, you know what. Didn't I sound like him? <laughs> Not at all. I did. <laughs> Not even a little so, bit. you never know what you're going to get. So, make sure you uh, vet. Right. You, vet. you vet. You know, we get a lot of, I'm speaking from the women's perspective, we get a lot of women who are, like you said, he talked about the bitter single woman, and the red flags is already there. But you kept going until you caught feelings, and now you stuck you up track. Mm -mm. emotionally mm -mm. with this person, and you have trouble leaving. I don't get trapped no more. I don't either. I never was really into getting trapped. Mm -mm. I'm not going to be a victim of your personality. <laughs> Okay. I refuse to be a victim of the next person's personality. And, I, and, I, and this is without judgment. Because everybody is at a different place in their growth, right? Mm -hmm. But I refuse to. If it's not, if it's if it's making me feel some type of way, then I can't. I can't do nothing about how you feel about you. You see what I'm saying? All that fixing. And <gasps> the real Cynthia said Jesse Smollett was found guilty. No, I mean, <laughs> thought he wasn't. 
I didn't know that case was still going on. That's yeah. what he get for dragging it all like that. Oh man! Well, was... guilty of what? It's gotta be a misdemeanor, right? It's a felony. I don't yeah, know. You, what yeah, they're yeah. To... I mean, you know, they probably we ain't got to talk about that goofy ass boy right now, though. I just uh, want to say this dog, though. Jesse? Je- I was rooting Juicy. for Jesse. <laughs> Juicy, ah, Juicy no. Smollett. That's what uh, here y'all go. <laughs> Tariq Nasheed coined his name as Juicy Smollett. That's who came up with that, Tariq Nasheed. She said you stole that from Tariq. I got that juicy Smollett. Uh, is that what he called him? Yeah, he called him that, but uh, that Tariq was calling him that as soon as it came out. He started calling him Juicy Smollett and shit. But anyway, that's the, I, I, you know, I was rooting for the brother myself. I, I, I didn't want him. How you gonna root for some bullshit? See, that's what's wrong with us as a people. It could have happened to him. Oh, wait, 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 that she was trying to steal jewelry out of this motherfucking crib and he kicked her the fuck out and then she made up the rape story and guess what? She didn't get no charges or nothing. So I was rooting for Jesse to get off of that. I don't think I don't I don't think that's how it works. <laughs> I, I think I think I think it's individually based. It is racially and biased. I, I think if you want some bullshit Okay, and that that's even more reason why he shouldn't have done no goofy ass shit like that. Come on now. We talk about a boy who just for uh, publicity purposes. But he didn't even identify any perpetrators. Nobody was hurt by the shit. They just doing too much with this shit to me. Ooh. They just doing too much. These white women can run around here and make false accusations and, and all kind of shit. And then they be like, oh, she was lying. And then that's the end. Well, you keep comparing Jesse Smollett to a white woman. It's disturbing. He probably want to be a white man. <laughs> I just was like oh, noticing damn, that, damn, you, damn, damn, damn. that you was just damn, 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 white Okay, woman right, over slow and up. Over they get them. away with that shit. I don't even know why they even pursue. They should have just let the shit go because they let that shit go with other motherfuckers. I don't got we about to get now. We about to get out of here. I got a headache. Can't leave early. It's bad luck. The mess up the net. Mess up next week. Uh-oh. You leave early. That's what's been happening. You've been leaving early. No, we haven't. Yeah, we've been leaving early. Come on now. Hey, listen, I always want to tell people 12 minutes too. early. I'm moisturizing the winter and exfoliating the summer. The what? In this hot... Moisturize your skin in the winter time. Shea butter, Vaseline, whatever you choose. Vaseline to is not moisturizing. Go ahead. Whatever you choose to use. When we was kids, it's the best thing on face. Yeah, I mean, when we, when, when we was kids, they used to have you drink uh, um, house water, too. You know, don't house make it right. <laughs> what you Thanks mean, for joining us, yeah. Slow Up. We enjoyed you ha- being a part of the show today. And and, and uh, everybody else, too. What was the sister's name? She, well, she said, yeah, thank you for Gretel and Tisha. Yeah, Gretel. And um, I can't think of all the other names that was on there. But I appreciate y'all. So make sure you tell other people about the show. And um, we'll be on on Thursday, 7-ish. 7-ish. Are we doing Thursday again? Yes. Today is Thursday, and last week was Thursday. I, 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 it come, one, Thursday, one Thursday comes every week. I know it's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. I know you don't know that. <laughs> I know it's crazy. No, I, no, I got to do push-ups, but I'm going to do my push-ups. You going to do your... Yes. What y'all got to do push-ups for? Because we don't say. We don't say. I'm saying Thursday, Thursday for the yeah. audience. Y'all don't say the day of the week? No. We None say of the a different, the we use a different name for the day of the week. So. Today is Ujima. Oh. This is the seven days well, of the Inclusive Saba. That's so that's yeah, some tribal that. stuff that oh. we do. But um, we change the days of the week. But thanks, everybody, for joining us. And we'll see you next week. Same black time, same black channel. Make sure y'all check out Kwanzaa this no, year. Don't tell me shit about moving to Thursday. Damn, that's the, um, Ohio Historical Society. And for those that don't know, if you're like, when is Kwanzaa? It's every. It's the same time every year. It starts on December 26th, the day after Christmas. And I can't remember how many days. Now we're doing at least seven five. Days. They're going to do. Are they doing all seven? 
I think, well, I mean, as far as ritual, I think. No, I'm talking about the Kwanzaa uh, celebration at the Ohio Historical Society. So I don't know how many days they're going to be doing it, but I know at least five. So um, I'll have a flyer coming out real soon. Thanks for joining us and see you next week. This is the real Blunt Blunt Talk. talk. Peace. (laughs) Later. Nah, nothing. Whatever. How am I doing here? I can't see that. I got my glasses on. I don't know what this is. This ain't.